Hey guys, this is my pre-release update. Um, so I did Two-Headed Giant with my friend Nicole, who I've mentioned before, uh, because of her giant deck. And it was pretty fun. We had a good time, which is, uh, most important. She's not the best player, so we placed ninth out of 18, I think. There were 18 teams, and we were just, like, smack dab in the middle. Um, so not horrible, but not fabulous. But we had fun, and that's what matters. Um... So I went Orzhov, of course. My favorite this my favorite guild, and uh, my secret guild was Selesnia, and I was kind of like me about that. Um, so this is the deck that I uh, ended up playing with, and like I just got <clears throat> really crappy pulls from my boosters. Like I had three co creatures in all six of my booster packs that had extort, so I was like, well, that's stupid. So I ended up having to put a lot of tokens in here because I got a ton of token creating cards. Um, so for non-basic lands, I just had two guild gates in my colors. Uh, for creatures, I had a dutiful thrall, who I just love this guy because regeneration is amazing. Uh, for my extort creatures, I had Syndicate Enforcer, a Kingpin's Pet, oops, and a Tithe Drinker, which I was happy because I wanted that card just because she's she's good looking. Um, I had a Sin Collector, who was good when I drew him. He's pretty fun. Um, I had two Hired Torturers to do, like, the direct damage thing. And then for a token creating creatures, or just token creation, I think is how I organized this, um, I had Seller of Songbirds, Urbis Protector, who I never drew, Eyes in the Skies, Sign of V2 Gazi, which was one of the rares I pulled, and I was just like, ugh, because that's just not really a good card. Tristani Summoner, who, um, my friend pulled the, that Mimic card, I think it's called, like, Progenitor Mimic or something like that, or Progenitus Mimic, the Simic one where it copies other creatures, and there was one of our, our rounds, we had this and that in our opening hands, and, oh my god, comboing that card with this one where you make it copy this, every upkeep you get four creatures. It was amazing. So, I just had to put that out there. It was amazing. Um, for removal, because I did have a decent amount of removal that I never drew, um, a Sundering Growth, Killing Glare, Smite, Orzhov Charm, Tristani's Judgment, and Putrefy. But I never drew any of my removal. Um, for just, like, other miscellaneous spells, I had Profit and Loss, which was quite fun. It was a good combat trick. Um, Obzidat's Aid, which my friend, uh, drew and gave me. Get to the Deathless, which, oh my god, this card in Two-Headed Giant. There was, like, the one round that we won, because we only won once, um, I had, like, nine mana, and I put five into the X cost, so each opponent lost two times X life, so they each lost ten life. Doubled that to twenty, and we gained twenty life, and it was beautiful and amazing. And this card is definitely going in my EDH deck, because it's amazing. Uh, Riot Control, which um, actually turned out to be pretty pretty fun, because people, like, we just didn't have very good creatures in either of our booster packs, so our decks were, like, heavily spell-based. And this was really good against, like, heavy creature decks, where I'd be like, oh, you think you're going to kill me this turn? No. And instead I gain life. Uh, for enchantments, Sinister Possession, Knightly Valor, Contaminated Ground, and then a Selesnya Key Rune. And, like, I don't know, I kept, I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't draw, like, any of my removal or any of my enchantments. This is just a... Uh, bad luck. And then for uh, my other miscellaneous stuff, uh, the Maze's End promo card, uh, Orzov, at least at my pre-release, made it to the end of the maze, so I got the fancy planes. Um, I pulled this in a boost pack. It's really pretty. Um, it'll make a nice looking life counter if I ever decide to make one. It's going to be cool. And then freaking Immortal Servitude again, I got in my Orzov booster pack. I was really hoping for something better. I don't like this card. Um, 
my Selesnia pack had a Wayfaring Temple, which is not a terrible card, but I just never had enough creatures for it to be good. A Boros Battle Shaper, which is, again, like, meh. I mean, it might be good for EDH, but with that mana cost, it's not playable anywhere else. Um, Mirko Vosk Mind Drinker, who, again, is like, eh, he's good in mill decks, but, like, whatever. And so, like, after I was pulling all this stuff, and, like, the Scion of V2 Gauzy was also in my rares, I was like, oh my god, I've just pulled crap. This sucks. And then in my last pack, I pulled this guy. So, like, not a total loss. Um, he'll definitely be up for trade, because I don't play blue-red. It's like, just no. I will not play it, so um, he will definitely be up for trade. I would like uh, cards of, like, maybe not necessarily equal value, but higher dollar cards uh, for him instead of, like, a bunch of little ones. I don't really know what I want for him. Maybe like, I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know. just you know, PM me, show me, link me to your trade binder, and we'll work something out if you are interested. Um, and yeah, so I mean, we didn't do horrible. We had lots of fun. I did get a Planeswalker, um, and I got a lot of good cards from my EDH deck. So overall, pretty good. Um, so thank you for watching if you had the pre release. I hope yours uh hope you all did better. And have a good day. Oh yeah.